Nicole with Titans of CNC Academy. And in this video, I wanted to show you our Titan training package, which features the Doosan DEM 4000. With this training package, you can create all of the building blocks, one through 10, and so much more. It comes with all the tooling, fixtures, coolant. It even comes with a seat of master cam. It's a really powerful package that's gonna get you started. So today I'm gonna use everything that is included in this package to create the Titan 37M. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that our table is nice and clean. We wanna make sure it's free of any chips, oil, dust, anything. It has to be perfectly clean. And then we're gonna go ahead and spray some lubricant on the table. So I'm just gonna make sure we get a nice little layer of lubricant here. And now we'll go ahead and stone the table. So I'm gonna start with the rough side first. We just wanna make sure that there's no high spots on the table. So I'm just gonna do little figure eight patterns across the table. Next, we're gonna to switch to the fine side. So next, we just wanna wipe down the table again, make sure it's free of any dust left over from stoning. So I'm just gonna clean this off. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna go over to our vise and make sure that we clean and stone that as well. All right, so I'm just gonna take my vise and I'm gonna flip it over. And we wanna basically do the same process that we did on the machine. I'm gonna make sure it's perfectly clean. There's no chips or oil or dust. And once I do that, I'm gonna once again spray some lubricant on it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and stone it just to make sure that there's no high spots in the material. So I'm gonna just do little figure eight patterns. And then I'm gonna flip it over to the fine side of the stone and finish it off. All right. Now once again, I wanna make sure it's perfectly clean. So I'm just gonna wipe it down. All right, now let's go get this installed on the table. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and install the hardware on the vise. So I'm just gonna slide these in our T-slots. And I'm gonna install our bolts in the T-slot nuts. All right, now that we have our hardware installed, we're gonna go ahead and grab our indicator and check to make sure that the vise is squared to the table. All right, that looks good. So now let's go ahead and tighten down the vise and then we will recheck it with the indicator to make sure it is still square. So now that we've got our vise installed and it's square to the table, we're gonna go ahead and start putting our tools in and getting them touched off. All right, so looking at our setup sheet, our first tool, tool number one, is a three inch shell mill. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert this tool. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and touch this tool off. So I'm gonna grab a one, two, three block and a puck. All right, so I'm here in my offsets page. You can see I have tool one highlighted. So now I'm gonna set my tool length offset, and to do that, I'm gonna type Z and hit input. So now you can see it's got a negative 14.2969 value in there. So I know that I need to subtract the height of my puck, which is 0.25, plus our Z0 work offset is gonna be below the top of the stock by 0.02. So I'm gonna go minus point to seven and I'm gonna hit input. Now I'm gonna hit execute and that sets my tool length offset. All right, so now that we've got all of our tool length offsets in there, we can go ahead and put the material in the vise and we're gonna use our Hymer 3D sensor to set our X and Y work offset. We're gonna go ahead and install our shunk stop. All right, now we can go ahead and use our Hymer 3D sensor to set our work offset. All right, so I'm gonna go into my offsets and I'm gonna hit the work tab 
And that's going to show me my work offsets. So right now you can see my Y is zeroed out. I need to tell the machine that where I currently have the Hymer 3D sensor is where I want my Y zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type Y zero point and I'm going to hit measure and that's going to plug in that number there. But I know that my work offset is actually the center of my stock, which my stock is two inches. So I need to come negative one inch. So I'm going to type in negative one inch and I'm going to hit input. Now I'm going to hit yes. And now my Y is done. Now we'll go ahead and move to do our X. All right, so now that that work offset is in there, I know that our work offset is supposed to be in the center of our stock and our stock is 3.6 inches. So half of that is gonna be 1.8. So I need to come positive X 1.8. So I'm gonna type that 1.8 and I'm gonna hit input. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit execute. And now that is done. So now we can go ahead and dry run our program. So to do the dry run, I'm gonna raise our Z work offset up six inches. So I'm just gonna type six and I'm gonna go ahead and hit input. All right, so now that we've got our six inches in there, we can go ahead and dry run it. But before we do that, let's get our program loaded. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna come up to our FC slot here and I'm just gonna insert our card. Next, I'm gonna go to program. All right, so we're gonna choose device change and we're gonna select mem card. Now you can see our program there. So I wanna go ahead and select that program. I'm gonna choose main program. Now that we have our program selected, we can go ahead and start our dry run. The dry run went great. So let's go ahead and actually run the part. Before we do that, we need to change our offset back to zero for our Z height. All right, now let's go ahead and run the part.
All right, so that was the Titan 37M. I think it came out really good and I'm super impressed with this training package. It's very complete, came with everything we needed to get us started. And I think you could make a lot of different parts on here, not just the building blocks. If you guys wanna find out more information about this training package, make sure you check all of the links in the description below. And don't forget, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more machining content. Thanks for watching.